Imagine this. You're sitting comfortably, browsing through videos to quench your thirst for knowledge, and then you stumble upon something that makes your hair stand on end. What if I told you that a simple tweak in something as banal as toothpaste could skyrocket its presence from a measly 7% to an astonishing 65% of American households within just a decade? Intrigued? Keep watching, because this isn't just about oral hygiene. It's about the sheer power of habits, and more importantly, how you can harness this power to transform your life. Now, you might be thinking, just get to the point, and tell me what you've got. Well, my friend, that's exactly where the magic happens. You see, the essence of engaging in impactful communication lies not in bombarding you with dry concepts or flaunting brand names, but in the art of storytelling. Tales have the ability to resonate with our core, to connect ideas to our personal experiences, and to ultimately make a concept or product relevant to us. Cast your mind back to when you were last captivated by a story. It's that same enthrallment we seek here. Ditch the traditional tell and yawn approach. Your fleeting attention is far too valuable. Join me on a journey through narratives that pulse with life, speak directly to your needs, and add fuel to the fires of your ambition. You see, there once was a time when I too believed that success in education meant following a formula, playing it safe. I wrote paper after paper, sticking strictly to expectations, and sure, I was rewarded with top grades. The problem? The real world doesn't operate on academic accolades. It's a different arena where the rules of engagement are dictated by what resonates with living, breathing humans. It's here, outside the lecture halls, where storytelling is king. Transitioning from this realization, let me pivot to the subject at hand, habits. Why should you, a man of intelligence and drive, care about them? Because habits are the invisible architecture of daily life, silently shaping our existence. And by mastering this craft, you can steer the course of your life towards unimagined success. Stay with me as we dissect the anatomy of a habit, delve into the groundbreaking concept of the habit loop, and unveil strategies that you can implement to make or break these subconscious routines. Oh, and somewhere along the way, I'll share with you how companies leverage these very principles to turn their products into household staples. Before we wade deeper into the science of habits, let me pause for a moment and remind you. If the prospect of elevating your personal and professional life excites you, then do yourself a favor hit the subscribe button, drop a like, and ring that notification bell. By doing so, you're not just supporting the channel, you're making a commitment to yourself, a pledge to be part of a community of the strongest male heroes ever, devoted to lifelong learning and continuous growth. Back to the main event. Well explore the triggers that initiate habits, the routines that form the bulk of these habits, and the rewards that cement them into our behavior. This isn't just theory, it's applied wisdom, something you can take stock of immediately to reprogram your daily patterns. Well look into the curious case of how a desire for the tingling sensation in the mouth led to an uptick of toothpaste usage, propelling Pesodent into a market juggernaut. It's the little things, the addition of certain ingredients with no real cleansing benefits that spell the difference between obscurity and ubiquity. And why? You might ask, should a savvy, modern life dating, bulldog-minded gentleman like yourself bother with such trivia? Because the devil, as they say, is in the details. Understanding the nuances of habit formation gives you a lawyer's precision and an investor's foresight in the court of personal finance. It's about leveraging the divine masculine within you to assert control and direction over your trajectory. As we delve deeper, you'll discover smart money tactics and actionable steps to sell a house, optimize insurance, navigate loans and mortgages, and handle investments like a seasoned trader. Knowledge of habits goes beyond personal development. It's an indispensable tool in your financial arsenal. Now, consider this. If you had the chance to donate or make a significant claim by mastering digital marketing or understanding credit intricacies, would you let the opportunity slip? Or if you had the certainty of a mortgage law attorney combined with an astute credit lawyer, wouldn't you feel unstoppable? Well, 
Guess what the transformative power of habits can grant you all that and more. So, hang tight as we venture further into the realms of self-improvement, where wisdom speaks louder than screams, and where the man mindset is not just about semen retention attraction or monk mode, but also about cultivating practical wisdom that echoes throughout the chambers of power and prosperity. Let me remind you, if any of the insights you gained today strike a chord or light up a path you've been eager to tread, consider expressing your gratitude. It's the ripple of generosity that helps keep this fountain of knowledge flowing. And remember, the measure of your contribution directly reflects the value you've taken away from our shared quest for greatness. Ask yourself, once the video ends, which of the tactics shared today will you implement into your life? How will you employ the power of habits to become not just a strong, successful male, but the strongest male hero in your own epic story? Keep watching, stay curious, and let's forge ahead. Together, we're building an empire, not just of wealth and success, but of character and conviction, one habit at a time. Imagine you've come across an individual who's noticeably out of shape, and I pose the question, what do you think led to this condition? You'd probably conclude that a lack of exercise and an overindulgence in unhealthy foods were the culprits. Well, this concept also applies to the state of your attention span. If your focus wavers before even five minutes have passed, if you're fighting the urge to click away from this very video, then, metaphorically speaking, your mind is in a similar state of disrepair. But fear note it's well within your power to rehabilitate your mind, much as you would your physique. To get started, you only need to dedicate yourself to two core practices. The first step involves giving your mind a good workout. Think of it like going to the gym, where lifting heavy weights improves your physical strength. To boost your mental fortitude, you'll need to tackle tasks that demand intense focus and mental exertion activities like reading, studying, working, writing, or even mastering a new skill can serve as your mental dumbbells. Identify which of these tasks poses a challenge for you, then start training. For instance, take out a book you want to read and time yourself to see how long you can focus before the distraction itch strikes. Once you start craving a glance at your phone or a break, stop the timer. This is the measure of your current focus capacity. Drop me a comment below and let me know your personal record of rather inquisitive about where you all stand. Once you've pinpointed this baseline, commit to a daily mental exercise routine. Just as you carve out time for a physical workout, you'll need to block out a segment of your day for focused mental engagement. Aim for five sets of this chosen task daily, each set lasting just a tad longer than your existing limit. And remember, it's okay to pause for a brief moment similar to a gym rest period before plunging back into the task. Repeat this pattern five times a day, and at week's end, test that focus level once more to witness your progress. Variety is also key in training switch up the tasks occasionally, challenging your focus muscles with different exercises. Now, let's talk about the metamorphosis that occurs when you introduce strong, mindful habits into your routine. Once your ability to concentrate extends beyond 10 minutes, you're well equipped to start completing tangible work. I, for one, don't need a reminder to enter my cognitive gym because each day, I engage in writing for about 3 hours. This practice in itself bolsters my focus muscles, automating the process of maintaining mental vigor. You should aspire to find a similar habitual activity that trains your focus without extra effort once you reach that 10-minute milestone. The second critical step for honing your focus is to curate a healthy mind diet. The fuel for our body is food, and the sustenance for our minds comes through the content we consume. Highly processed, sugary foods are the physical realm's junk food, whereas fast-paced, hyper-stimulating, bite-sized content serves as the intellectual equivalent. It's okay to indulge from time to time, even daily, but if that's all your mind feasts on, expect your attention span to dwindle down to a few fleeting seconds. To broaden your content palette, delve into media like TED Talks, interviews, or educational videos content that tends to be slower and more in-depth. This type of media nurtures your mental diet, 
as do audiobooks, long-form articles, podcasts, and documentaries. Your goal is for these healthier content types to make up at least half of your daily consumption. When engaging with this valuable content, steer clear of multitasking. Just as you wouldn't pair a cake with your salad, don't mix a social media scroll with your long-form learning. Ensure you see through whatever you start read that full article, watch the complete video, round off the chapter. This practice not only enriches your knowledge but also trains those all-important focus muscles outside the proverbial gym. Here's the plain truth. Bolstering your focus is akin to embarking on a weight loss journey there are no shortcuts. Only the steadfast commitment to a new way of life that constantly tests your perseverance. Now that we've unraveled the methodology for sharpening your focus, the real work begins. What steps will you implement from this discussion into your own life? I'm eager to see your comments on how you plan to apply these insights. And as we wrap up, remember, if you found any part of this talk valuable, feel free to show your appreciation with a tip that corresponds with the value you've received. You'll find the details in the description below. Now, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, throw a like our way, and clang the notification bell that's the trifecta that will arm you with the knowledge and discipline to conquer the battles ahead. Here's to becoming the strongest, most focused version of yourself. Stay sharp and until next time keep tuning in.